Now on Sky News Live, Peter Cradley. In banning Sky from TV screens hosted by Transport Victoria, the Victorian government has confirmed that it really is trying to create a people's socialist republic south of the Murray River. Yes, this is an issue of free speech. By all means, condemn Sky for broadcasting an interview with extremist Blair Cottrell. I haven't had him on, nor would I. But it should be noted, Sky has banned Cottrell from the station now. Indeed, Sky is the only Australian broadcaster that's exercised its right to free speech by deciding that Cottrell can exercise his own right to free speech on some other channel. But in banning Sky, not Cottrell or any other media outlets that themselves haven't banned Cottrell, this is much less an infringement on free speech than it is a demonstration of the incompetence, the unfairness and the sheer bias of the Victorian Labor government. There's also some sinister political machinations here too, but I'll get to that in a moment. In banning Sky this morning, Victorian Transport Minister Jacinta Allen claimed that the Cottrell interview had been broadcast on Victorian public transport. Wrong. It hadn't. Sky makes a special program that Transport Victoria uses that didn't contain the offending interview. She claimed that dozens of advertisers had boycotted Sky because of the Cottrell interview. Wrong again. So not for the first time, and nor suspect will it be the last, we find the Victorian Minister has had a train wreck of an interview because facts are found to trump their left-wing ideology. It's pretty obvious that it's not Cottrell's views that the Victorian Government is trying to ban. That's just a pretext. It's all about the Sky News commentators and reporters who don't engage in a kind of politically correct self-censorship that the Victorian Labor government wants to get off the air. People like me, I would guess, and my colleagues Andrew Bolt and Paul Murray, among others. Let's face it, we're the ones who keep reporting all the things that the Victorian government would rather hide, like so-called safe schools programs that are in fact promoting gender fluidity in the guise of anti-bullying, like the massive expansion of the Victorian bureaucracy, like the transport chaos that regularly afflicts the city of Melbourne, and like, above all, the African gang crime wave that's terrorised many of Melbourne's suburbs. Last night, more than 100 African youths rioted and attacked police in Melbourne. Typically, not a single arrest was made. Victorian police aren't to blame for Victorian African gangs. I tell you what, it's the Victorian government that's at fault here because it's too politically correct to identify the problem, call it out and allow police to deal with it. So a government that can't control street crime decides instead that it will control the TVs on trains and railway platforms. It can't ban thugs, so it bans the media that reports them. It's helpless in the face of criminals, so it takes action against people whose politics it doesn't like. Jacinta Allen, Daniel Andrews, the Labor government... It's pathetic. But I said there was something more sinister here, and this is what it is. Right now, you're watching Sky via Foxtel, and you're paying for the privilege. Come the 2nd of September, this network, my program, many others like it, will go out on the Win Regional News Network. I'll go to over 5 million viewers on free to air. That's right, free into homes like the ABC and other networks. Jacinta Allen isn't just the Transport Minister in the Victorian Labor government, she's also the member for Bendigo in country Victoria, and I know backroom politics. This is as much about trying to hit back at Sky before it hits TVs across regional Australia, because more than anything else, Labor knows if it can't hold its regional seats, it can't hold government. Up to now, regional Australians wanting news and current affairs have only had the ABC. And that's a one-sided view of the world, politically speaking. Here, on my show, every night you get strong opinions. You mightn't always agree with me, but I promised you at the start that I'd call it out on both sides of politics. And I'll call it as I see it. 
And like the ABC, most nights on my show, you get views from the left as well as the right. This week alone, I've had on two former staff of Prime Minister Julia Gillard and a current Labor senator. So I say to Jacinta Allen, good luck with your boycott. We can all see it for what it is. Unfortunately for you, there's an election coming in Victoria in November where the Victorian people can decide whether they want a government that's tough on crime or one that's only tough on its critics.